Today I want to examine the relationship between faith and civic engagement by contrasting two important fundamentalists from the early 20th century, J. Gresham Manchin and William Stringing Bryan. Manchin was an influential Presbyterian minister and served as a theology professor at Princeton University from 1906 to 1929. Over the course of his life, he wrote many influential works, but perhaps the most famous was Christianity and Liberalism. In Christianity and Liberalism, Manchin argued that liberal Christianity wasn't Christianity at all, and that Christians should follow the fundamentals of the faith, such as the virgin birth, the divinity of Christ, the inerrancy of scripture, and the second coming. While Manchin believed that all Christians should ascribe to a conservative interpretation of the Bible, he didn't necessarily believe that all people should. Manchin distinguished between two types of organizations, voluntary organizations and involuntary organizations. The church made up a voluntary organization, meaning that people voluntarily chose to come to church and believe in the tenets of Christ. Because it was a voluntary organization, those who voluntarily joined had to subscribe to each of the specific tenets. By contrast, the government was an involuntary organization. Everyone who lived in the United States had to be a member or at least subject to the government of the United States. Because it was an involuntary organization, Gresham didn't believe that the church should push its voluntary beliefs on people in the government or in the broader area of society. Historian D.G. Hart summed up Manchin's beliefs well by saying that he was a civil libertarian who feared church involvement in the state and didn't want the church to focus on civil issues. By contrast, William Jenning Bryan believed that the church and faith were an essential part of public life. In the PBF's documentary series, God in America, it states Bryan frequently linked Christian rhetoric with populism, believing his Presbyterian faith and democratic policies were one and the same. At the end of his life, he participated in the famous Scopes Monkey Trial, in which the state of Tennessee sued a teacher over teaching evolution in the classroom. Brian volunteered to Brian volunteered to be the lawyer for this case on behalf of the state of Tennessee. And in an unpublished speech, or at least a speech he didn't give in the courtroom, but did give to the New York Times, he stated as follows, Christianity is the only means by which the problems which vex the heart and the world might be solved. To conclude, it's important to remember that both men were influential Presbyterian fundamentalists in the early 20th century, but that both men had a very different view on how faith should be engaged in civic action. Brian favored a very active faith in civic engagement and used his faith to fight for the weak and oppressed. By contrast, Manchin believed that faith should focus on spirituality first and not on the government, and that spirituality was the most significant portion of it. So while Brian fo favored an active role in faith, Manchin favored a less active role in civic engagement. As we approach the midterm elections in 2022, it's important to think for ourselves about the opinions of each of these men and decide for ourselves what we believe the proper role of faith should be in the government and society in general. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.